Hey guys, in this video we work on this Yamaha Wolverine. Alright, so we got this Yamaha Wolverine. Uh, this is my cousin's squad. It was his father-in-law's. Uh, he said it's not running very well. It will fire up. Battery's dead, so I'm going to put my uh, charger on it and see if we can't charge the battery. Uh, what I can see right here, it says turn tank off. So that's indication that this likes to leak and that you can also see that on the motor here. So I'm going to assume the carburetors always had a little issue. Maybe the floats aren't adjusted right. And that's why it leaks. But uh, we'll go ahead and turn the fuel on and uh, try to pull start it. This has this is very similar to the Yamaha Warriors, as in uh, cylinders and uh, the top end. I'm going to assume they look very similar to the Yamaha Warriors. Uh, the carburetors are different. They look more like a Z400 carburetor. But yep, yeah, uh, see if we can't get this thing to fire up and kind of hear what it's doing. Alrighty, turn the key on. Yep, starter, or battery's dead. smoky uh i guess first things first we'll go ahead and uh get to the air box make sure there's nothing in the air box causing it to uh be plugged up maybe a rodent made a nest in there but dang is it smoky but yeah i i, I don't know i have to ask him if it burned any oil Gas smells old. Wonder if it has any seafoam or something in it. Uh, the exhaust has holes all through it. I'll show you that. So, right there's a hole. Right there's a hole. So it's pretty hollowed out. It looks very similar to a stock warrior exhaust i'll have to ask him what he wants to do with that if he's even worried about it but yeah we'll check the air box make sure there's nothing in there Alrighty, so we got the air box opened up as you can see the air filter looks pretty good there's nothing inside obstructing airflow uh, i got the charger hooked up to the battery it is uh, currently charging right now Alrighty, so we got the old carburetor out. It really wasn't that hard. All I had to do was undo uh, the clamp that held it to the motor and the clamp from the air box, breather neck, uh, and unscrew the throttle cable after I attached it from right here. I'm going to go ahead and tear this thing down. And there goes the gas. Uh, 
see what's going on inside here. The gas looked pretty clear, it didn't have any dirt or anything, so I'm wondering if there's just not a piece of dirt wedged in the jet or anything. But yep, gonna go ahead and tear it down. Alright, so it actually looks pretty good in there. Not too bad at all. It's probably something in the jet. And uh, I'm gonna reset the float. Alrighty, so uh, I got the carburetor all put back together, installed on the quad. Uh, I got new battery over by the house that's charging, and then went ahead and replaced the spark plug with a new one. Uh, Alright, I bought two, that way he has a backup. But uh, as you can tell, that's the old one. There's the new one. That's uh, definitely seen some life there. Well, yep, uh, we're going to go ahead and start it up and see what it does. Uh, see if we got that bog out of it. And if not, uh, there is a possibility that a switch up here has gone bad. And you just simply unplug it and the bike runs fine after that. But we'll go ahead and fire it up. See what it sounds like. Sounds like it's bouncing off like the rev limiter won't let it rev up. We know the carburetor is perfectly clean, so we're going to eliminate one of these uh, switches up here. Alrighty, so we figured out the bog issue. It was one of these switches, which was this switch right here. I just traced it down the handlebars and disconnected it right here. What I'll do is I'll tape these up real nice, that way nothing gets inside of these. But uh, it's a common issue, I guess, because the Warrior did the same thing and I just pulled it completely out and eliminated that little switch but it's just a common little issue these uh yama older yamahas have but uh yeah she's running now and we just got to wait for the battery to charge up so we can throw it in there and then we can call call the owner of the quad up and let them know it's finished all righty so we got this thing back together got a new battery in it new spark plug carburetors cleaned and tuned Figured out why it wasn't revving up. Uh, it's all ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and contact the owner so he can come pick it up. But if you guys have any comments, please leave them down below. If you like the video, please smash that like button. If you guys wanna see the last video, click over here. If you guys wanna become a subscriber, click over here. I'll catch you guys next time.